All right, guys, welcome to this battery episode. Uh, we're doing something a little bit different today. Uh, we got some batteries here that are different types, and they're rechargeable batteries. Now, many of you guys are used to running your alkaline batteries, which have a nominal voltage of 1.5 volts, and these are great batteries. Re e easy to use, easy to throw away, easy to move on from. But uh, the world of rechargeable batteries is all over the place, from lithiums to nickel metal hydrides to nickel zincs. There's a lot that you could use these for, and, well, a lot of different types. So, this video, we're going to go over just a couple different technologies, not new technologies. I mean, Thomas Edison holds the patent on this one from, I think, 1901, from nickel, uh, nickel, zinc. And, well, it's gone in and out of favor over the years. Uh, well, it would, but we also have, look at this one. This is nickel metal hydride. So, various technologies, similar but different. And we'll get into it here real quick on the good and the bad between these two types of batteries. Let's get at it. Let's start with this charger. So Cycle makes a charger here that they sent us that actually works with both the nickel metal hydride and the nickel zinc. And it uses this USB-C connection here. You just plug it into the wall like so, let it boot up. And it actually does a good job giving you a readout on charging, what it's charging between the different cells as it points at them, tells you where they're charging at and then allows you to also get in there and make some adjustments on how you want it to operate. So this is charge mode. So there's charge mode. Oh, let's see there. You can just cycle through eco mode, so slow trickle charge. This is like a repair mode. And then back to charge mode. And the instructions give you ideas of how it works. And what you can use in there, obviously it says you can use both of these types. It allows you to put them in there. And it also, it's hard to see here, but it also has a discharge option, which I've, I've been playing around with, I haven't got a chance to use it yet. But I like that idea because if you overcharge and you want to discharge because you know you're going to store it, that's a smart option to have in there as well to be able to discharge. But uh, it's great because you, you can fit your double A's and your triple A's inside the carry case here and let them charge. Now, listing automatically knows that it's nickel zinc. Ideally, it's probably because of the nominal voltage. Nickel zinc is going to run uh, 1.65 volts nominal, whereas with these nickel metal hydrides, your nominal voltage should be closer to 1.2. Now, it's worth noting that all these are made in China. Here's some part numbers for you. And currently, Cycle doesn't sell these on Amazon. They have it on their website, so... I'll leave their link in the description below. But here's some things that they talk about here. Uh, they claim new nickel metal hydrate technology. Well, we'll see what time. Built-in safety core, high capacity, high C rate operation, high charge, and up to 1,000 charges. So you do get a lot of charges out of nickel metal hydride for the most part. And as far as the batteries look, I mean, this one looks pretty decent. I did notice that on the nickel metal hydrides, it's just a little rough around the top. I don't know if it's if it's if it's leaking or or what have you. I mean, voltage is up there. Now you may ask yourself, well, what do you what would you use these ones for? Well, it's going to be high, for higher voltage needs. There, they they both are going to carry a good amount of current over a the full charge, a good steady current until they drop off. Now, one di one downside that a I've seen with these nickel zinc batteries is the fact that they can essentially start to go bad over time. They could form what are called dendrites within the cell. And think of it as like a root inside there and it just slowly keeps growing until it renders the whole battery useless. And you don't know when that's gonna happen or how it's gonna happen, but it can happen. And it ends up destroying the batteries completely as opposed to slowly. Now, this one claims the same amount of charges, 1,000 charges, long-lasting power, high security, new technology. I feel like they're just kind of saying the same old, same old thing. But, uh, yeah, if you want to carry more voltage, I would say use the Cygolds. If voltage isn't as big of a factor, you know, you're on a little bit lower nominal voltage, 1.2 roughly for these, then that works out great. And we could test them here real quick for you guys, too, so you can see what those voltages are. So 1.28 for the metal hydride and 1.744 for the zinc. 
worth noting that the zinc batteries, they will self-discharge faster when left in storage as, compo as opposed to their nickel metal hydride counterparts. These could sit and hold the charge for a much longer time. These ones will lose it. But in the end, if you want to have higher voltage rates, then the zinc ones are going to do that for you. Now, pricing-wise, these are all going to be about the same on their website. I think about $21, and it's a little bit less for the AAA counterparts that they sent us as well. Um, yeah, these AAAs that you see here, they're probably about, I think, about $17 or so for a, a set of four uh, in each of those. So we're taking a look at, uh, and worth knowing, at least through other distributors as well, what you're up against. And it's nice to, too, if you can find a charger that charges multiple types of battery types, not just one. That helps you out quite a bit. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Tell me your thoughts. Are these good batteries? Have you guys had other experiences with these types of batteries? I'd love to hear all about it. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon.